Hello, and welcome to another Stargame Studio Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today is the start of a new series. We will be using a lot of techniques from the last series, but with more of a massive multiplayer feel to it. While a full-on MMO would require coding and a large team, we will use blueprints to delve into the world of multiplayer. In the last series, I used all free assets. However, some of the assets and packages in this new series might have a cost associated with them. However, there are no limitations to anything. Use what you want and what you have. With that out of the way, let's get started. Let's first start out with the assets needed for this first tutorial. I have a new character that I created on Ready Player Me. I altered it a bit by removing the armature and replacing it using the Akarig software. You can find this character on my website, ready for download. The link is in the description. To import the character into Unreal Engine 5 smoothly, you only need to install the Actor Core software. You can find the instructions and link in this video from the first series on this channel. Just click the information in the top right corner of this video for more information. Open your Unreal Engine launcher and launch Unreal Engine 5.3. We will make a third person game with blueprints. We don't need any starter content. Name this whatever you want, create the project, and wait for it to open. Test out the game if you wish to make sure it is working properly. Great. Let's create a new empty level. As you can see, it's completely dark. We can fix this by adding a directional light and a sky atmosphere. Also, add the exponential height fog to the scene. This will give us a nice blur on the horizon. Now save the level in the third person maps folder and name it Tatooine. We will start out with the planet Tatooine because it's probably the easiest to work with as a beginner. We want the new level to start when the project opens. So open your project settings and go to maps and modes. Change the editor starting map to Tatooine and the game default map to Tatooine as well. Close the project settings. We are ready to create our landscape. There is a link in the description for a collection of height maps that we will be using in this tutorial. The author has a pay what you want system, so if you have no money, you can get it for free. I paid a dollar for it, just to be fair. The collection is worth way more than that, however. We will be using the 4K Dunes height map from the collection in this tutorial. Change the selection mode to landscape mode. Make sure the tab is set to manage and new. Select import from file, and browse for the height map file. There is nothing else to do here except click import. You may not be able to see the rendered landscape because of the exponential height fog. Just hide it for the time being. Click on the landscape and press the F key to zoom in. We now have our basic Tatooine landscape. If you turn the height fog back on, we can set it back a bit so it's less strong. Go back into selection mode and highlight the fog in the outliner. Change the fog density to your liking. Save all changes. Run the game and see that you can run around with the character. Great! 
Now we can add the material. The great thing about Unreal Engine 5 is that the Epic Marketplace has an abundance of free materials we can use. Open the Quixel Bridge and log in if you need to. Select Surfaces and search for sand. Choose the Desert category and find the rippled sand material. Download at medium or high quality and add it to the project. With the landscape highlighted, set the landscape material to the newly added rippled sand material. Save all and run the game again. Looks pretty good. Take note that the character is fully intact with all of its materials. Close the engine and restart it. Play the game again. And if you don't have 32 gigabytes or more of RAM, you'll notice that the character no longer has its materials attached. This is because the world is so big that most GPUs can't catch up to rendering the character fully while it's rendering the materials on the ground. Fortunately, there is a fix for this. It's called World Partitioning. To sum up, World Partitioning is a tool that subdivides the world into a grid for better memory management. This means only a small section will be fully rendered and we can see all of the objects in a more localized area for the game development process. To partition the world takes a lot of RAM for such a big world. Take heed that it may seem as though the Unreal Engine has frozen up and crashed, but that likely isn't the case. Just let the process run its course. It may take 10 to 20 minutes to process. With that being said, go to Tools, in Underworld Partition, select Convert Level. Choose the level you want to convert. In our case, it is the Tatooine level. A pop-up will open. Just leave everything as is, because if you change the In Place, a copy of the level will not be created. The engine will just override your level, and if there is a problem, you lose all of the work you have done. Go ahead and click. Wait it out, play a mobile game for a few minutes or something. Eat some cake, call your mother, it will happen. That took way longer than I expected. It took like a couple of hours instead of minutes. However, it did the job. You won't be able to see the landscape because none of the regions have been loaded. To do this, we need to open the World Partition tab. If this is the first time, you can go to Window, World Partition, World Partition Editor. In the panel, drag out a section that you want to load. I'm going to drag in the whole thing. Right click and choose Load Region from Selection. Now that it's loaded, play the game and run around. The character has all of his material. Notice that we can only see part of the world. There are settings we can change to see a lot more as it streams, but we will leave that alone for now. One more thing. Since the partition process created a copy of the Tatooine world, we need to change the starting level in the project settings. Just go to Maps and Modes like before and set the starting maps to Tatooine WP. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm